Well, good afternoon, friends. This is Gwendolyn Song, and welcome to the Sackcloth and Ashes News Report, where there's always another layer to the news than what we see in the day-to-day -day news on the mainstream media, as we are all awaiting the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Today, I want to address the current baby formula shortage and ways that we can combat these issues from happening in the future. And after the Lord had called me to my prayer closet last evening, he asked me to cover this topic today on the news. Remember how history is always repeating itself and the best defense is a good offense. Well, what I want to suggest today is that everyone who knows someone who needs baby formula to pray over that family during your local church gathering or small group gathering. Pray for the Lord to speak to their hearts and alert them to the ways that he has provided milk for newborns back in the olden days. And also, too, there's always exceptions, medical exceptions to every rule because some children's digestive tracts are not capable of breaking down complex nutrients as it places an even greater strain on their metabolic processes. But clearly, God did not place mankind on the earth with Similac and infamil factories that needed government oversight. Our God is way too sophisticated for that, friends. Since the evolution of women taking places in the workforces, uh, society has had to create change to keep up with the demands in the modern world. But as we can clearly see, the World Economic Forum, the New World Order, its, its globalist society is trying to give the world a facelift. So we too need to be prepared to walk down a road that our modern society has never had to tread. So we need to go back to the basics, friends. We need to begin working as responsible citizens in the body of Christ and help people who are financially struggling to make ends meet in all sorts of categories. And it only takes some creativity and Holy Spirit guidance. And I wanna ask the pastors today, where are you in all of this? Are you calling the church to fasting and prayer and helping to solve the problems of your local congregation. The headlines are now saying that the USA is in a baby food crisis. We see the word crisis. Now, where's the leadership from the pulpits? The Lord has called us to work together as a body. And in the early church, there was a food distribution system and all things were shared. We need to return to the book of Acts, pastors, and see what the local church bodies can do to help alleviate the stressors of families in the days prior to the coming of the Lord. We do not need to rely on the government to provide food for our children. Let's take a look at what the Bible says here this afternoon from a passage in Acts chapter 4, verses 30, well, verse 32, we'll just look at that one in particular. Now the multitude of those who believed were of one heart, one soul, neither did anyone say that any of the things he possessed was his own, but they had all things in common. You see, no one lacked friends back in the early days of the church because they were in one accord. And that's the point of this message today. Jesus was the one who created everything and part of his plan was to humble ourselves and pray, to seek his face. That means we gotta seek his face and repent and ask him to heal our land. It's as though there is one issue after another issue and no one is really talking about the need for repentance and this food shortage in the pulpit. This is not going to go away, friends. We must seek God. And he says in his word that if we ask anything in his name, that he will help us. Let's look at this passage in 1 John chapter 5, verses 14 and 15. Now this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we have asked of him. He'll guide us. And in the book of James, verse 5, James chapter 1, verse 5, if any of you lacks wisdom, 
Let him ask of God who gives to all freely and without reproach, and it will be given to him. This is the message, friends, that the Lord has placed on my heart to bring forth today. This is a wake-up call to the church work as a body of believers, not as rogue households, your household and this household and this household, and you just come together one day a week to worship. We need to work as the body of Christ. Learn from the past wars how people navigated through difficult terrain. Learn how to make baby formula on your own. Learn how to do basic first aid on your own. Learn as much self-reliance as you can and help others to also be as self-reliant. And one of the fruits of the spirits, one of the fruits of the spirit is patience. And the Bible says love is patient. Love is kind. That word actually is charity. So to reiterate the clear message that the Lord is speaking at this time is to function as the body of Christ, to roll up your sleeves and help. This is the season of asking God for wisdom. And when he gives it to us, we need to take action. The baby food shortage is simply put, it's a sin issue. It's due to unrepentant sins in our land. And by coming together as the body of Christ, we can get our hearts right with him and allow his Holy Spirit to help us in the days to come. It is not going to get easier. That's clearly what the Bible says. So love, don't hate, help, don't be greedy, act like servants of the Lord. All right, friends. Well, that's all we have for today. Until next time.